So we've got our ocean on this side. And if you're a plover in LA, you've got a lot of housing on this side. Just so we know it's an actual house. And you also have most likely your bike path. So between this wedge of habitat, we'd have our plover. This is like a giant plover in relation to its habitat, but that's okay. So this is upper beach. And this is the rack line. So the plovers kind of move back and forth between this area. And what they're doing, and they, our plover needs an eye, um, what they're doing is they're feeding on the invertebrates that eat all that kelp that gets washed up. So the ocean spits up the kelp here. So it's all along this rack line. And these are the decomposers of the system. So they're eating kelp. And the, the plover is actually the predator. So it's eating all these little decomposers. Um, and then for nesting, they need to go to the upper beach. So that you would just see them sitting like this on the upper beach. Nearly invisible. So nesting and roosting, they need to get away from that tide line and where the wet sand is. And they're going to be more in this upper beach area. And that's the exact same spot that people like to put their umbrellas and their coolers and their radios that people used to have. Um, and you know, you got a lot of people like running through the area, so the plovers all scatter. And a lot of the people who are going through the area don't even know that the plovers are there because this is a little bird that's completely sand colored on the top and white on the bottom. So their, their whole strategy is just camouflage. So anything that's going through the beach, they're going to try to sneak away from. So I think living in Los Angeles, I've got a lot of options, but my first pick would be director David Lynch, um, because I would love to hear what he has to say while birding and what associations he'd have with birds as we went along. And then I'd love to see our bird walk show up in a dream sequence in a future film.